everyone. We're here to talk to you about living and non-living things. So, how do you know if something is living? Chase, how do you know? What does it do? Uh, it grows. It grows. That's a fantastic way to know if something is living. What else does it do? Um, it um, rises. Oh, it rises, yeah. If it's a plant, it rises. What else does it do? What do we do? How do you know that you're alive? Uh, because I move. It moves. Fantastic. It grows and it moves. What else does it do? It, um... What am I doing? Breathe. It breathes. Well done. It breathes. What else does it do? Um... What do we do with water? Uh, we... Drink it. We drink, we drink water. What else do we do? What else we, do we need? We eat. We eat. We need food to eat as well. That's right. Okay, so we're talking about living and non living things. We're going to actually grow some seeds. Okay, so. I wonder what seeds they are. Oh, I wonder what oh they're are. chives. They're chives. Oh, so chives, we can actually eat these when they grow. All right, so here's some um, basil that we've grown before. So we know that it needs something in the bottom. What does it grow in? Uh, it grows in... What's that called? What's this called? Um, soil. So soil, that's right. So it grows in soil and this has lots of nutrients, and lots of food in there as well that the um, plants need to, <laughs> to eat. All right, so we're going to do two things. Chase is going to grow his using which one? Soil or cotton ball? Soil. Soil. Chase is going to use soil to grow his seeds, and I'm going to use, Don't use cotton, cotton balls. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to put the cotton balls into mine, and Chase oh, is going to use soil few... in his. So I'm going to use cotton balls because I just want to see the seeds grow and I want to see the roots that go into the um, I actually cotton balls want well. to wear, um, do this. Okay, we're going to swap. Chase is going to do cotton balls and I'm going to use soil. Alright, so the first thing we need to put our soil and our cotton balls into our um, containers. I've used a clear container so I can see them growing. Alright, so I'm going to start with my soil. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I've got ten spoonfuls of soil in my cup. Chase, your turn. One. Two, three, four, five. Should we just do five? Uh huh. Okay, we'll just do five. Um, oh, oh, maybe, a few more. maybe a few more. Uh, six, seven, eight. Eight. That looks pretty good. Eight. Can I keep a cotton ball? Sure. Okay, so we've got yes. soil and cotton balls. What are All we right. going to do with the rest of the cotton balls? Mm, I'm going to use them for the class when I go in on Wednesday. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is to wet the soil and balls. wet the cotton balls as well. Why do we need to wet them? Sorry. What, do, what do plants need to survive? Water. Water, okay. So I'm going to just wet my soil first. I'll keep a few twins. Chase, you want to wet your cotton balls? Okay, then. Alright, that's enough. So it's wet down below before we put our seeds on, and then we'll water them again. Okay, so we've got soil for them to eat, and we've got some water for them to drink. Let's get our seeds. And I've got twins. Wow. Look. Mm, great. Twins. All right, so I'm going to sprinkle some of my seeds first onto the soil. And now 
Yeah, Trace, your turn. You can sprinkle some seeds onto yours. Just use a little sprinkle. That's not a yeah, good sprinkle. Well done. Okay. Glad I did one first. Alright, now I'm going to water them again. You can push the seeds down into the soil if you like. Or you can just leave them sitting on top. And another last water for them. Your turn, Trace. Ah. Great. Okay, so we've watered our seeds. Now they're going to take a little bit of time to grow, so um, we're going to keep watching them every day and see how much they grow. Hopefully they keep growing and growing and growing and um, we'll eventually be able to trim off the chives, the top of the chives, and use them for our cooking. So it'll grow similar to grass, the chives look like. Um, you can also decorate your cup. You can put some um, googly eyes onto them and draw some faces onto it. Or maybe you can draw a face and stick it onto your cup as well. You can make some little feet, some hands, and um, and when your grass grows, you'll um, have some hair to go onto your um, onto your cup. So that's everything. What else do we need to do though? Where should we put these? Should we put these in a dark cupboard? Uh, I think you. You'll leave them outside. Oh, why would we leave them outside? What do they need? Um, air and sunlight. They need air and sunlight. Well done. And so, not a dark cupboard. Not a dark cupboard because there's no air or sunlight in there. So we need to put them in air and sunlight. So you might want to put them in the windowsill or put them out in the sun um, to make sure they get enough sun to grow. All right, that is Living and Non-Living Things with Claire and Chase. I can't wait to see your creations at home of what you plant, and I'd love to see some pictures if they start to grow in a, in a, um, a few days or in a week or however long it may take. And we'll see what wonderful things we can grow in prep. Okay, bye. Say bye. Bye. So they can see you. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye.